Okay. It's a Thursday. It's shady a, it's Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, it's a shady Thursday. So <clears throat> people have been hitting back. People have been talking, and you know, guys, nowadays people got not chills. Like if you attack somebody on social media, people are bound to hit back. Yeah. I don't think guys care anymore. Mm. So the latest culprit, Linda and Yangweso, definitely clapped back. I don't even want to say anything because we have the receipts. Do yeah, we? Yeah, we do have receipts. She actually did clap back, and I'm glad that she she that she did because she's what. How can I say? Like, people are proving, like, you don't have to attack me for me to be quiet. Yeah. You know? So, really, I don't know how the truth, tr the, the, the entire story is. Mm. I don't even have the receipts proper, proper, so I'd love to, to see the, the entire story and what it was all no, about. No, this is, this is a, I think, the same thing that we've been talking about time and time again. Body shaming. Mm. Yeah. Like, it's been going on a lot of times. I mean, Linda has a beautiful voice, and you know what? She's found a place yeah. where, literally, her face is what she needs, her voice is what she needs, her yeah. personality, and she's got a lot of it, and she's got a lot of body and a lot of booty. Yeah, but uh, what I always say is that, who decides what is beautiful? What is beautiful? Or yeah, acceptable. Yeah, or what is acceptable. Who Apparently said, some, slay queen, some slay queen without a husband, without even a boyfriend on Instagram, <laughs> is their keyboard shaming her. You, you can't even convince a monkey to marry you. Can you shut up? Okay, sorry. Wow, right. wow, Can wow. I please oh, read the receipts? <laughs> All right, let's see receipts. So, the picture was posted by one of our co-workers, Jeff Morte. Monique! Monique is here! <laughs> Welcome to the show! Come, come, come. Welcome to the show. Was it that bad? How are you doing? Nairobi? It's crazy. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. So, okay. so let me read that. It happens every time. And then you'll tell us how your escapades were. Yes. So, Jeff Morte posted a picture of himself and Linda. And he uh, um, captioned it because a, a, a winning tuning team is a winning team. And then people obviously had to come out and say, uh, she's not becoming fat, she's obese. Oh, Lina, it was not in bad faith. Polly, if I offended you in any way, it was not meant to hurt you and don't take it wrongly. Ah, I don't know, man. I, but to be honest why? with you, it, first, it's not even necessary. It's none of your business. It's, Drink your water and moisturize. <laughs> no, can I, I, I'm sorry. I, I came out as mean before. <laughs> I think I was very mean before to slay queens everywhere. I apologize. But the thing is, you've got to have more value than your looks. Amen. You know the one thing about it is Amen. you can't even egg. Your entire value is based on that you can do Instagram eyebrows. Me, I can't. Oh. I have given up on you people. This Woo. year is not for you. All right, so one of the fans going by the name Katrine Nika has dropped her comment asking the radio queen to find time for the gym. While, on Kelly Sh while one Kelly Shan made a comment on how fat she keeps growing each time. This led to a series of comments from other fans on the same issue, which in a way did not go down well with the Kiss Drive post, as some encouraged her to be as she, as she sees okay for herself and not mind what is said. And I, I, think, I think she's even said it once again. Like, she's happy. Oh, she said it, yeah. Their family is happy. Yeah. Her friends are happy. To be honest with you, I go to a place, even myself, where really the opinion of other people don't count. Yeah. So if I am happy, if the person sleeping next to me is happy. Ooh, child. I, I, I'm, no, hold on. I feel like we've just gotten tea on oh. Piera's life. No, no. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, if whoever is sleeping next to you is happy with you, then whoever is not. I wouldn't miss, not, I wouldn't miss this show for anything. Because of stuff like this. Let me tell you, this story right here, I saw it um, when she put up a post, when, when Jeff put up a post. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, guys. Monique Bet. <laughs> Um, so what offended me the most is the fact that yesterday we talked about stuff being on your page, on your account. Yeah. You have yeah. the freedom to do it. She's, she, she's making her money. She's working. And uh, there's women who are more than just the looks. As you're focusing on what the, you know, the, the stereotypical image of what beauty is, and you know, you've got a one-track mind about it, I feel like if you met her, I mean, you would, you would fall in love with yeah. her personality. Yeah. And she's so secure in it. A yeah. part of me knows, she's looking at it like, okay, I don't really care about this. There's some of you who wouldn't even leave the house with pajamas because mm. you feel like you need to I be know, some right? sort of way for people to accept you. It's all about the likes, it's all about, uh, yeah. you know, appeasing to people that you don't even know. And she it's doesn't the same care. Thing I'm, t I'm still saying, who defines what beauty is? Do you know there are people who are crazy in love with how she looks? Yeah. yeah. Do, you know that? Do you know there are people who are crazy in love with the way tiny you are? Mm. Yeah. Like, people have different things. Who defines this is what beautiful is? Yeah. yeah. People need to stop that. And you know what? Where are you? Most Beautiful. guys, what are you trying to say? What are you trying? I'm just saying that I'm in love with the way you look. And it's more than just the looks. It's more than I just love the that looks she's challenging you know, people to dig deeper yeah. and find find something yeah. more than than, than just, that than, yeah. than, than a waist. Find something more than you know that that that's, yeah the eyebrows and the hips. Yeah, you yeah. remember we talked about like 
for, for, for a very long time, she was just a voice on radio. Yes. A lot of people didn't know what she looked like. And then she got all the love and all the adulation. Yeah. And then people started knowing her and yeah. what she looks like. And then she got all the criticism and everything. And I love the fact that she's unaffected because she took time to become secure. Yeah. You become successful. And when you're successful, I don't think all those other things matter. Yeah. And here's the thing. These people were always talking about how, oh, you need to lose some weight. It's not healthy and whatnot. They don't really care about yeah. your health. Nobody really cares. Yeah. The same way we don't care about these people who are talking crap about Linda. We Let's don't. Move on. And the people that matter don't care. About they don't this. care. Hello anyway. there. My name is Brenda Wairimo. Thank you so much for keeping up with us on Let's Talk. Now, don't forget to subscribe on our Every TV YouTube channel over here. And of course, if you've missed out on some episodes, here are some videos for you.